So why do so many powerful men stray and why are women attracted to them? And here to tell us more about it, relationships expert John Aiken. John, thanks for coming in this morning. Morning, Leila. So is it just because they can? I mean, they have probably more opportunities than normal men to cheat. Well, certainly, uh, you know, they're out and about a lot more. And in Tiger's case, there's a lot of travel in involved as a, as a professional golfer. So there's that uh, situation going on. And I think also the power that he has, the fame, the celebrity, people are starting to throw, well, they have for many years thrown themselves at people in situations like this. So you put that into the mix and it starts to become, you know, something that can happen quite easily. What about that power element? We see in the wild, don't we, where there's a dominant animal. Yeah. What, what about this power thing? Well, I mean, it's one of those things where uh, you, you're looking at someone who essentially uh, is successful at the top of their game uh, and is, has got the respect of, in, in Tiger's case, a lot of people. And it can be quite an aphrodisiac, you know. And uh, with, with, the, with the fact that he's away so much uh, on his own, uh, there can be situations that arise. And, and we're finding out that there's been several. And could it be that um, powerful men just get caught out more than other men because women obviously want to sell their stories or, or brag about being with somebody who's famous? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's easier getting caught out now, you know, with, uh, with technology and you've got your cell phones and, and uh, emails and that sort of stuff. Uh, and, and I think also these powerful people, they, they have quite a uh, grandiose idea of things, you know, and that they can pretty much get away with it. And uh, a lot of them have for quite some time. So uh, put that into the mix and, uh, you know, problems can happen. Well, one of the most famous stories, of course, is Monica Lewinsky and, and Bill Clinton. It really hasn't tarnished his image, though, has it? No, well, it depends on, 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 the, on the population you're talking about. I don't think too many women are that impressed with uh, certainly what Tiger's done now and, and some of the other people in the past. Uh, you know, because, you, you know, monogamy, I think, uh, can happen in a relationship. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, bringing up a lot of uh, doubts for people. I'd be interested to know your opinion as a relationship expert on whether Tiger and his wife can make their marriage work now or, or whether it's all over. What do they have to do? And get caught in headline-grabbing sex scandals. The opposite sex is very attracted to somebody who's powerful. Um, particularly uh, women are attracted to men who are powerful. While Woods has refused to address the tabloid stories that link him romantically to three women, he did issue a written statement Wednesday saying, I have let my family down and I regret those transgressions with all my heart. I am dealing with my behavior and personal failings behind closed doors with my family. So why do so many powerful men stray and why are women attracted to them? And here to tell us more about it, relationships expert John Aiken. John, thanks for coming in this morning. Morning, Leila. So is it just because they can? I mean, they have probably more opportunities than normal men to cheat. Well, certainly, uh, you know, they're out and about a lot more. And in Tiger's case, there's a lot of travel in involved as a, as a professional golfer. So there's that uh, situation going on. And I think also the power that he has, the fame, the celebrity, people are starting to throw, well, they have for many years thrown themselves at people in situations like this. So you put that into the mix and it starts to become, you know, something that can happen quite easily. What about that power element? We see in the wild, don't we, where there's a dominant animal. Yeah. What, what about this power thing? Well, I mean, it's one of those things where uh, you're, you're looking at someone who essentially uh, is successful at the top of their game uh, and is, has got the respect of, in, in Tiger's case, a lot of people. And it can be quite an aphrodisiac, you know. And uh, with, with, the, with the fact that he's away so much uh, on his own, uh, there can be situations that arise. And, and we're finding out that there's been several. And could it be that um, powerful men just get caught out more than other men because women obviously want to sell their stories or, or brag about being with somebody who's famous? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's easier getting caught out now, you know, with, uh, with technology and you've got your cell phones and, and uh, emails and that sort of stuff. Uh, and, and I think also these powerful people, they, they have quite a uh, grandiose idea of things, you know, and that they can pretty much get away with it. And uh, a lot of them have for quite some time. So uh, put that into the mix and, uh, you know, problems can happen. Well, one of the most famous stories, of course, is Monica Lewinsky and, and Bill Clinton. It really hasn't tarnished his image, though, has it? No, well, it depends on, 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 the, on the population you're talking about. I don't think too many women are that impressed with uh, certainly what Tiger's done now and, and some of the other people in the past. Uh, you know, because, you, you know, monogamy, I think, uh, can happen in a relationship. Uh, and this is, uh, 
you know, bringing up a lot of uh, doubts for people. I'd be interested to know your opinion as a relationship expert on whether Tiger and his wife can make their marriage work now or, or whether it's all over. What do they have to do if they want to stay together? Well, first and foremost, Tigers is going to have to cut off all contact with the mistresses. However many there are, it's got to stop. That'd be a good start. Yeah. Uh, and he's also got to show some remorse and, and empathy and, and understand the consequences of his actions. And then from there, be totally upfront with a come clean. He's going to need some counselling because trying to do that yourselves is going to be too difficult. And then they've got to look at the relationship and start saying, OK, what's not working here? You know, if, if you're going to travel so much during the year, how are we going to get around that? You know, and, and what about the parenting? And what about the fact that, you know, you, you, you're doing various things that I'm not happy with in terms of communication? So they're going to have to look at all that sort of stuff. It's usually used with a leopard, but pardon the pun, can a tiger change <laughs> his stripes? Can, can you? Is it pathological? I mean, he might do all that stuff, but will he get back to it? Because this guy is has won 14 majors. He's the highest profile sports person of the modern era, if not of all time. He's going to continue to have attractive women throw themselves at him. Yeah. Well, uh, the temptation is going to be there. The bottom line is uh, always for him and for other people in power. But yes, they can survive this and relationships can. Uh, but it's going to require a lot of work. Uh, he's going to have to change a lot of the way he does things and, and put in place some preventative strategies here uh, so that she can feel more comfortable with the way he's running his life. And, and they're going to have to get uh, uh, on board around the communication area of things as well because I don't think that's been going well, I wouldn't have thought. Mm. Is attacking someone with a golf club a good way of showing that you're not happy? That's, that's in a right, that, that's right. I mean, you, you she speculate. Got the point across, didn't you? <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you speculate what, what is it that's been going on or not going on between these two. Uh, whatever the case, that well, is going to... Well, they've got two young children, haven't they? So I guess, you know, that throws something, you know, they're not, she's not sleeping, um, he's exactly. been travelling, yep. a, a lot yep. of pressure's going Those on. Those sort of, and, and then, you know, there'll, there'll be a lack of intimacy, literally, because they're not around together anymore. They're not, prior, pr as much anyway, as, say, normal couples. And they won't be prioritising the couple time as much either, simply because he's out hitting go uh, golf balls. So uh, lots of things are going to have to change in the way they run their relationship for it to strengthen and for them to, to rebuild the trust. It's not going to be easy. The other thing I should say is that um, one of the things about cheating is that sometimes the person's looking to get out of the relationship and that's one of the ways that they do it. Hopefully that's not the case, but we're going to find that out as, as time goes on. Thanks, John. Thanks uh, very some much. intriguing thoughts there. It's, it's, it, no one's life is as good as it looks. Uh, you no. talk to people and say, I wish I was tired. What? You, you don't know what's going no. on in people's no. lives. It's do like you? a relationship expert. Mm. You know, you, you certainly have relationship problems. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the bottom line. Nobody's perfect. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thanks, John. Hope you work them out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to you. Take some of your own.